This uh, video will show us how to do an email transfer uh, from Scotiabank using um, the iOS app or the uh, the app for uh, iPhone. Um, I'm not sure whether uh, Android is different, but uh, I would imagine it'd be so similar. So um, I have another YouTube video on this channel that uh, tells you how to do an email transfer um, from a uh, desktop computer. So. Um, the software for the app, uh, the iOS app, is different than the desktop. So let's have a look. So here we have the uh, home screen of uh, my uh, iPhone. Um, the Scotia Bank uh, look app is located in the top right hand corner, second row, uh, highlighted there with the big yellow arrow. So you open that, and uh, the first thing that'll come. Um, open is uh, you have to select which account you want to take it from and put in your password so after you do that and you log in um, you're going to see your uh, various accounts um, the current account is where we're going to take it from it's listed at first up there at, with a balance of 863.98 so let me go back. Um, there's a, a top left-hand corner of the um, the app. Uh, in the red bar is three horizontal lines, perhaps like a stack of books. You press on that, and that'll pull up this menu here. Um, it'll pull up on the left-hand side. We're going to select uh, the third item down. That says interact e-transfer. Um, I call it an email transfer, but that's uh, Interact is the uh, the brand that it's under. So we click on that. Um, the next page will come up, and you have to actually select the uh, email there. I don't know. Um, looks like the some devices will have uh, uh, other logos on there, but we need to select the email version. Um, um, so the next screen that comes up. Uh, you need to select a recipient, or in other words, who to send this money to. So, first thing to do is um, click on the uh, top uh, item there where the gray um, arrow pointing right is, uh, highlighted in yellow. So, uh, that'll pull up a list of, and this is, happens to be my list of uh, people that I send money to from time to time or d different things, chores and so on. So um, you select the uh, person you want. I'm going to select uh, me, John, uh, in the middle of the page and on we go. So now on the next screen you can see that the recipient now has my name and email address on there um, we can see that we have eight hundred sixty three dollars and ninety eight cents in the account uh, I've already posted it in the third item down the amount of a hundred dollars that's what I want to um, that's what I want to uh, uh, transfer uh, the next line down is the security question I happen to make my security question um, Debbie's oldest sister, and the line being below that would be uh, where you would put the uh, the appropriate security answer, and um, we'll leave that to, to your imagination. The next line down is memo. Um, you're not supposed to put the password in that line. You could put uh, something like uh, "thanks uh, for your help" or whatever. I'm not sure. So at the bottom of the screen, um, you can now click the big blue icon that says done to continue and now we have uh, this next page is uh, uh, what the next screen would look like um, so what's happened is at the top a big red bar comes along says transfer complete I've circled it with a yellow line there and then even more detail in your confirmation in the uh, green box uh, there it says your interact email transfer has been accepted. Please keep this reference number for your records and uh, there's a record uh, uh, reference number there. Um, below that uh, 
validation of who the recipient was or how it was sent, in our case, email, from which account, and notice that the balance in the account is dropped by $100. And uh, the amount that we sent is the next line down, $100. And uh, Scotiabank at the current time is charging a dollar service charge uh, for each one of these. Um, kind of uh, expensive, if you ask me. Um, and the date the transfer was taken, and that's it. Uh, at the top left-hand corner, uh, contained within the red bar is a stack of books. You click on that, and it'll pop up um, at the bottom of the page, as you can see there. Uh, the gray menu in the bottom left-hand side, uh, you click on Log Out, and that'll log you out of the um, your bank account. So that's how it's done.